And I used to watch the show because I thought it was entertaining. I was like, damn, man, this is some pretty useful inf- uh, information. I, I, I'd have to drink my piss before I do that, bro. Hey, yo. So he got you arguing about drinking your own piss and he out here drinking lemonade, real lemonade. <laughs> No, I've been a, how does it, I've been led astray. How does it feel, bro? No. Damn. What's going on, Clutch Squad? What up? What up? What up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. We in the Clutch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another the video today. You feel me? All right. So we're gonna check out the depressing truths behind Man versus Damn, Wild depressing. the show. So Ross we, picked this one. Last, of course. Last week we checked out the truth behind pimp, pimp My Ride. This time we're gonna check out what's going on with the show, Man vs. Wild. If you guys remember, he would be in these wild ass situations, no pun intended, where he has to survive as much as possible or as long as possible <clears throat> with limited resources. And I used to watch the show because I thought it was entertaining. I was like, damn, man, this is some pretty useful inf- uh, information. But we're gonna find out what, what's the truth behind this particular show, man. So, let's so that's going to judge some of these other shows that they have out there that be telling Mystical you. versus the bear. If you ever see me in the forest fighting the grizzly bear, help, help the, the bear. bear. <laughs> that bitch going to need it. I was like, you know what? If I ever see that nigga <laughs> fighting the bear, I'm probably going to help the bear. I'm probably going to tell him, run like he should be doing. <laughs> tell the bear to run. Run, bear. <laughs> run, Yogi. All right, let's get to this. One. You stupid dog. I didn't know it was this fake. That comment was posted to an early expose of Man vs. Wild Season 1, Episode 5. While Bear Grylls' other survival missions have featured everything from rented horses to volcanic landscapes created by smoke machines. Oh, no. We're going to go over every available example where Bear Grylls might not have been telling the truth, including multiple responses. I remember that when he was drinking. The dung juice, bro. I was the like, who? The dung juice. <laughs> the the. Hey, you got it, the bro. The feces from another. Look, bro. I guess I'm gonna just dehydrate, bro. Yeah, bro. Stick nah, out here. You you drink it? <clears throat> no, I'm not. You you I, say that because you ain't been stranded nowhere without. I'm not drinking no dung juice, bro. I'm not squeezing <laughs> no other animal shit into juice paste. I'm not doing that, bro. So you gonna go. do your own juice? I I I'd have to drink my piss before I do that, bro. Hey yo, I'd drink to, coconut bro. water. It, it, how the fuck we gonna? Where's the coconuts, bro? <laughs> where's the coconuts? <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no coconut <laughs> juice. I wanna do that before I'm somebody, drinking. Somebody, somebody clip it. I don't care, bro. I'm talking about a survival <laughs> instinct, bro. Y'all talking about hey yo, but half of you niggas would do the same thing. Am I am I lying? Your own pistol. You ain't got no other choice. It's either that or somebody. He on an island. Oh no! You can't drink the water. You can't drink the water from the island. You got to burn. You got to cook that. You got to boil that. If you ain't got the supplies for that, then what you gonna do? I'm gonna figure it the fuck out, bro. (laughs) Nah, you say that, but say you in the desert. Not drinking my piss. Bro, not a desert is just different. That's like, what I'm talking about. Cooked. That would be the only okay. logical reason. How are you drinking that. the piss then? What are you peeing in? You got to put pee in a cup if you have like a container. Of <laughs> if you can find a cup, you can no, make a fire you, and put some water on the fire and boil it. But where, what, with water? If you in a desert, that's what I'm trying to tell you. There's, there's not. Many You're flipping options. it. You're flipping no, it. I'm not. Okay, which one are we arguing? Desert or the the island? Island. If you on an island, then that's different. Just say you can, nah. Just say you, you want to test it. No, hell no, I don't want to do that. But if I'm in a desert, bro, y'all acting like y'all wouldn't. I know for a fact you switched it to this. this hat, you switched. It to I'm this. telling. I'd rather do that than drinking some animal doodle juice. <laughs> that's your only option: animal doodle juice or on your a, own piss on an island, bro. But if there's no safe water for you to drink, Dub, then what are you going to do? I'm going to start don't a fire. Tool, with what tools? How are you going to start it, bro? Sticks. What are you talking about? It's wood bro, and stuff. Bro, it's not that the... easy to just do it. It's not like that in the I, show. I see where, who. All right. right. All right. Well, I got it, guys. You don't, no, you don't it's not watch that enough easy, survival, bro. survival oh, stories, bro. It's you weren't no easy, Boy bro. Scout. It was, it's not that. We saw what happened to my boy in Castaway. We're over there having a best friend with Wilson. Hey, Ain't hey, hey. Too. Not too much on Wilson, bro. <laughs> all I'm trying to hey, tell you. Take it easy I'm, on Wilson. 
all I'm trying to tell you, if you're in that situation and you had nothing else to choose but your own piss hey, and another hey. animal's <laughs> dung juice, Ross. what you gonna do? Hey, you lying. You it's know cool. you. Calm, no, you hey, know what that's do. what you want. No, bro. You he want personal lemonade, and hey, no, that's bro. cool, bro. I ain't, I ain't redacted. I know <laughs> when shit get real, you gonna have to choose. So don't act like you ain't gonna choose. I don't care what nobody say. You can cook whatever you want, but at the end of the day, man, if you're trying to survive, I'm not drinking no dung juice. <laughs> the fact you keep saying that. it's dung juice. It's All right, bro. We get it, bro. See I'm what happened? Y'all, bro. I'm not doing this with y'all. This will happen with you. Lemonade. <laughs> Fuck you, HK. <laughs> All right, bro. It's from the man himself, so you can oh, come to your own conclusion about whether or not the show was real. Oh, A TV God, survivalist bro. caught cutting corners. This was the first example of Bear Grylls being called out. She's drinking fake over there, bro. And it came on the 24th Water, of July, dude. 2007, <laughs> just four days after the end of the first season. The article was written after Mark Weinert, one of the show's consultants, came forward to talk about the ways in which the first season was staged. Mark began by explaining that while in the Sierra Nevada <laughs> mountains, Grylls was seen supposedly sleeping under a rock beside a small life-saving fire. On this little overhang here, here's all I've really got now. Have shelter for the night. It's not very nice. Yet in all actuality, Grills instead spent each night at the Pines Resort in Bass Lake, which was that, that is fake as hell. Oh, no! <laughs> and then it's a nice-ass resort, too. Oh, all right, and cut. All right, somebody put that fire out. You ready to go right, back to the hotel? Oh, shit, that ground hurt. Come on, let's hurry up and get into this. Fucked up, bro. Advertised as a cozy getaway for families and is a luxurious hotel with its own spa on the <laughs> lake, as well as television, stone fireplaces, hot tubs, and internet access. However, bro. this isn't the only part of the episode which has since been exposed as fake. Only a few minutes after waking from the campsite, which he apparently didn't Wait, even see. sleep at, Grills runs into a group of wild Mustang before talking about how on Usual it was to see them out in the wild. A chance to use an old Native American mode of transport comes my way. And this is such a privilege to see that probably loose horses that have broken free maybe from a ranch. He spends the next couple of minutes gaining the trust of the wild horses <laughs> before trying to jump onto one without success, which is interesting as according to a Reddit <laughs> post, Bear Grylls breaking a wild Mustang was actually a choreographed scene shot with a domesticated <clears throat> horse from a nearby ranch. Oh, the post bro. included a video which has sadly now been deleted. Deleted, yet there are comments on other websites to back up the claim, such as the wild horses in the American West are uncombed skittish wild creatures with scrapes and cockle burrs, not the gentle manicured saddle horse which was right. seen in that episode, yeah. alongside YouTube comments such as I grew up near Reno, Nevada and spent a lot of time watching wild horses. The proof that he never roped a wild horse, he's still alive. On top of this, Mark Weiner then explained that season one, episode nine, in which Grills is supposedly surviving on a scarce desert an island was actually filmed off the coast of Hawaii, where Grills spent his evenings Bro, in a motel. Is... During the same episode, Grills can be seen making a bamboo See? raft on the beach, which even included a fishnet sail. Yet this was also debunked after Wino had explained he actually led a team of builders to construct the raft. It was then taken apart so that Grills could be shown building it on camera. Oh, bro, I've been lied to, bro. Yeah. I was this watching this. You sat here watching this crap. This dude is a. Fraud, man. I've been lied to, bro. Oh, man. None of it is real. What is real, then? Damn, bro. I'm thinking, well, at least some of these things, if I'm ever in a situation, what would Bear Grylls do? <laughs> Dino said, so the show should have been called Man vs. Vacation. That's exactly <laughs> what it was. <laughs> However, it was season one, episode five on Mount Kilauea that was the most suspicious of them all. At the beginning of the episode, Grills was supposedly walking on an active volcano shown by sulfur dioxide gas, which was steaming from the surface. Sulfur dioxide gas forms in volcanoes. And here, it's really thick. Look at this. You can actually see the sulfur dioxide here 
seeping out of these vents. However, after the episode went live, one of the show's safety instructors explained to the Sunday Times that the white clouds of poisonous sulfur dioxide that billowed around the former SAS Explorer were in fact harmless vapor created by smoke machines. And according to insiders, the red glow of the molten magma which he warned could incinerate him in seconds was supplemented by burning hot coals brought in by members of the production Aww. team. Sulfur dioxide fumes this are colorless and you can't see it, so smoke generators were used off screen to make the existing fumes seem visible. Later in the episode, Grills talks about being far from Damn. civilization before explaining that crossing the terrain was dangerous due to lava cracks in the ground. Crossing these fragile fissures can be dangerous, but there is a way to do it. Sometimes you get these, these lava bridges that cross them over, but you've got to be really, really careful crossing these just because you don't know what's solid and what's hollow underneath. With all his body weight. However, when a YouTuber called Volcano Chaser uploaded a video titled Rayman vs. Wild Bear Grills is a Phony, this segment was also debunked. The video showed that just behind the camera, the lava crack came to an end and could have simply been walked around, Bro. which became even worse after it was shown that, that Grills was not far fake. from civilization. And was Come on, fam. This nigga here been lying. Somebody said, bro, revoke his nature status. <laughs> this nigga didn't survive anything, bro. Oh. was rather right next to a major highway. To add a cherry on top of the cake, the video description exposed other parts of the episode by stating, most of the scenes in the show don't exist in the area he was supposed to be in. <laughs> Avocado trees, lava tube, tropical forest, fissures, and landing site are all in different parts of the it island and separated by up to 50 miles. I've hiked this area hundreds of times. These fissures are unique to a small area on the summit and are a very popular tourist viewing area. There are only a few hundred feet long and easy to go around. Only the phony bear seems to have trouble crossing them. The fishes are located next to the parking area where cars can be seen on the crater rim drive shown on the clip, although there was still more trickery that wasn't being made obvious to the audience. Survival expert Nick Vrumans worked with Bear Grylls on season 1 episode 13 in the Australian Outback, after which Nick stated that even the script itself was pre-planned. He'd expand on this by <laughs> stating everything you see in the show is set up. I built him shelters and found him snakes to eat. On the show broadcast to Europe and the wow. US, you see him catch a snake, kill it, and eat it. But it was actually two snakes. A roadkill that I found which he was shown beating on the head and eating, and then a live olive python that a wildlife carer had been rehabilitating, which was followed by Vrumans also exposing the segment where Grills was almost attacked by a crocodile stating, the whole crew was petrified of the crocodiles. Bear didn't want to get anywhere near the water, so he filmed a setup of him like he was near a crocodile when he was actually a safe distance away. I was a bit miffed when I saw the finished show. As a result of the media ripping each episode to shreds, Bear Grylls was given a chance to respond to the controversy during a live talk show. And then we heard somebody complaining that they said, no, no, he's he's down the road at the Motel 6. He's he's not really out there surviving. The way we film low. these things is over, over six days. And, um, and when I'm filming the live night stuff out, I'm out with a you know, it's in a camel carcass or up a tree. Mm -hmm. And then when we're not filming the light, night stuff, I'll stay with the crew, you know, wherever that is, whether it's in a, you know, tented camp area in the Sahara or a jungle lodge you know, in a rainforest or whatever. Grills would then issue a public apology stating, if people felt misled on how the first series was represented, I'm really sorry for that. Yeah, he babe. added, I'm the person that takes the rap for these things, even though I'm not always involved in the editing side of it, which is followed by the show promising to be 100% transparent going into the future. To cover themselves, <sighs> the second season opened with a disclaimer, however, it's not like this did anything to convince viewers of the show's authenticity. If I had to choose one person to be stranded on a desert island with, it would be Bear Grylls. That way he would have his crew with him and they'll probably pay for us to stay in a nice hotel or something, which became- I like how that turned around, bro. <laughs> he'll, he'll probably have his crew with him, bro. That's perfect. Hey, we stranded on an island. Hey, Bear Grylls, we need your help. This nigga coming this Crew assemble. Crew and everything. Oh, man, we good, bro. <laughs> like, that, that, bro. That's oh. a lot of bamboozling going on, bro. Oh, I thought this nigga was out here really surviving. You know what I'm saying? I knew he had a camera crew, but he always say they're just here to document things. They're not here to help me. Dog, that is wild.
this nigga out here drinking animal dung juice for what? Why? What's the purpose? So he got y'all out here. You no, know, we gotta we gotta bring this up. So he got you arguing about drinking your own piss, and he out here drinking lemonade, real lemonade. <laughs> I've been a little. I've been led, led astray. How does it feel, bro? <laughs> Damn, bro. This nigga would have me out here looking stupid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he we tried to tell you, bro, but you was fighting it, so. <laughs> he had me out here looking stupid, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Fresh hot. Oh no! <laughs> we, we, yeah, he played yourself. You played yourself, but it's cool, bro. We got oh, you back, man. Oh, bro, I so, thought it, man, it was all real. But you did. Man, you argued us down too. What didn't he check? Like, that's was, the safest way, man. <laughs> what are you gonna do it? Where would you get this from? Trust Bear Grylls. <laughs> such a, he was such an advocate, but look at him now. Oh, oh, oh. bamboo who's <laughs> Ross <laughs> Nah, bro, we gotta we gotta talk to Barry Grills, man. He gotta get dealt with. <laughs> and even worse, hurt. after the show was exposed for a different stunt. During the episode in the African savannah, <laughs> Grills is shown <laughs> squeezing water out of elephant dung, which by go. itself didn't seem all that troublesome. However, when Canadian survival expert Les Stroud, host of the show Survivor Man, responded to the episode in a Reddit AMA, he debunked the strategy by stating, many of the actual survival skills taught are bogus. It's not possible to squeeze drinkable water out of elephant dung. Well, it is if your cameraman has soaked it with bottled water. I would even go so far as to say that some of the skills if followed and attempted in a real survival situation could result in worsening the situation, with this comment coming alongside a few instances like this of you, Les bro. Stroud dissing Man vs. Wild for its lack of authenticity. I was wondering if you've ever had the opportunity to meet Bear Grylls. I haven't, because I'm out overnight and there's nobody else out there. What are your thoughts on Bear Grylls? <laughs> if you wanted to learn about archaeology, would you get it from Harrison Ford? A lot of fresh water around here. It's a good Damn. thing, too. Otherwise, I'd be reduced to uh, probably having to drink my own pee. <laughs> yeah, right. There were YouTube videos. Oh, no! Wouldn't want to have to drink your own piss now, would we? <clears throat> Damn. Fucking bear grills, bro. <laughs> he got a new arch enemy. <laughs> so that's when his his oh. enemy <laughs> arc was created. I was out here defending that shit, bro. Oh. <laughs> And it's all on footage now. It'll oh never go away. Oh no. I was misled. I didn't know. Damn, bro. You was a lost follower, bro. Oh. <laughs> you was ready to pee in the tin can for Bear Grylls, bro. Look at Bear Grylls on an island somewhere, feet kicked up, <laughs> drinking a mojito. And you over here. That's crazy, bro. That's fucked up, bro. Videos as well as full-blown websites dedicated Ross to the poor advice Bear, that Bear Grylls 40. has given, <laughs> with many stating that this constitutes fakery, while others have made the point that Grills was simply showing survival techniques, and it therefore didn't matter if the shots were set up or not. It's a show to teach you how to survive certain scenarios. To have every survival stunt to be real every single episode would be both dangerous and illogical. He teaches survival so techniques. It's obviously irrelevant if he's really facing those perils or not. The point is it's entertaining and informative. He was teaching people how to survive if they were in that situation as if. He's not risking his life for a freaking TV show. Whether or not setting up the shots constitutes fakery is up for debate. However, a YouTuber by the name of Lo The Show that seems convinced that even it. when set up, a different Bear grill stunt is completely impossible. <laughs> eating a snake. Even with the guts and skin on, you can eat them straight like this.
I ain't debunking that. Not possible. Although in other episodes, Bear Grylls has shown himself eating snakes in their entirety, so I wouldn't call the video by Low the Show all that much of a debunk. However, if we want slightly better evidence, we have to look at a video posted by Justin <laughs> Wallace titled Climber Cringe Bear Grylls Confirmed Sorry, Top bro. Roper. Justin, who's clearly an avid climber, spends the video criticizing an advertisement in which Bear Grylls is climbing a difficult route in Utah. Grylls is shown to be using all the wrong gear. Guess we're using the Mountaineer's Coil, which you don't really do, especially when you're track climbing in Moab because it just kinks up your rope. Sorry, bud, but a single wire gate on your harness isn't gonna do much for you. Tying all the wrong knots. What the hell knot is that? Kinda looks like a bowlin, but not really. And even climbing the wall incorrectly. I don't even see his last piece. He's like 40 feet run out right there. You're gonna die, man. Oh, and there's so many good placements too. What is he doing? There's no way he is holding his body weight with that one hand in that crap right there. And his two feet are just sticking out on nothing. His crew is <laughs> definitely pulling his fat ass up there on a three to one. There's no way he's climbing that. The original rock climbing video has a dislike ratio of almost 75% and features comments such as, gotta give him credit for really committing to the BS. Interesting skills he has in climbing. This is just ridiculous. Wow, it could be impressive if it was not fake. As a climber, it's obvious that the heli dropped him at the top and he made some shots rappelling down. I used to like him, disappointing. You could make the argument that Grills gets a pass given it was filmed for an advertisement, but does he get a pass for an article titled Bear Grills Show Accused of Fakery Again after the island's ordinary men exposed as trained professionals? According to the article, Damn, the bro. island by Bear Grills introduced what was supposed to be 13 ordinary men are about to be abandoned on a Pacific oh. island with just the clothes they stand up in and a few tools. But there was no mention that Rupert Smith had worked in war zones in extreme environments, including Literally. alongside Grills as director of Channel 4's Escape to the Legion. Similarly, there was no introduction to cameraman Dan Etheridge, who also worked with Grills on Discovery Channel's Man vs. Wild. Kiff McManus, a sound recordist with 10 years experience in some of the world's most dangerous places, also failed to get a mention. The article also revealed that two Cayman crocodiles had been manually released onto the island, and that the rare source of fresh drinking water found by those on the show uh, was actually a rubber line pool set up by the production crew. Oh. Channel 4 responded to the featuring of trained professionals by stating, it clearly states in the program voiceover that trained crew are part of the experiment, living under the exact same conditions as the other men. Like all of the men on the island, their professions are captioned on screen and their backgrounds are discussed. Biographies are also on the Channel 4 website, before going on to address the crocodiles and drinking water by stating, we had to ensure the island's only water supply a muddy pool would last through filming in the dry season and that there was enough native animals and native vegetation that could sustain the men for 28 days as long as they had the ingenuity to find it catch it and kill it which you have to admit is a pretty decent statement oh man <clears throat> that don't look like it hurts bro this is wild bro. is this your king ross Ross was about to start a fire with his do-rag because of Bear Grylls. <laughs> oh, man. I know that hurts, bro. Pimp My Ride sucked, too, even though we knew it was, like, kind of fake. But to find out that majority, like, literally everything he was doing, 90% of it was bogus, that's wild, bro. <sighs> It was GG's for me if I had to survive, bro. Yeah, we know. It's all cool, bro. <laughs> just, just hit up. All you gotta do is hit up Bear Grylls, man. He got the, no, he got the squad. Nah, bro. Well, well, yeah, if he bring in the camera crew, sure. Yeah, yeah, he got the squad, bro. It's gonna be a resort. They just gonna show the parts <laughs> that look tough and, and oh, uh, like God. the wild. They're not gonna show the beach part and all that. So you'll be straight, bro. Yeah, that's wild, bro. I'm gonna go wild. Wild crats. The fall of man. Hey, nah, this hurts. I'm gonna lie. Yeah, I, I really want to see what other shows <clears throat> we've been lied to about because we know there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. maybe next probably on there too, but that wasn't really um, what next. Next, remember, uh, MTV? oh, I remember that. Yeah, 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 I remember that. That was crazy, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was probably definitely set up a lot of that stuff too. Yeah, a lot of that stuff we know was fake. Uh, stuff like this, you expected them to at least be a little. 
Somebody said Steve Irwin would never. Right. Steve Irwin would never, bro. RPR childhood, man. Hey, look. It be like that, bro. South Beach Toe is fake. Yeah. A lot of them shows, like Pawn, mm -hmm. uh, the the Pawn show, mm -hmm. and yeah. all of them, they, they do extra. MTV Cribs is, was definitely fake. We found out. <laughs> A yeah. lot of them wasn't living in them houses. I think Red Man's was though. That yeah, nigga, he said he wanted to do his own house for real, for real. Yeah, that nigga was. That was that was really his. But everybody else's most of that shit was like rented. It wasn't really their house like that. So, but anywho, as we let Ross say, uh, <clears throat> let us know what y'all think in the comments down below. Do y'all want us to check out more debunk style videos that's gonna debunk some of the things that we thought was real as a kid growing up? Let us know in the comments down below. Continue to spread love, be love, and remember. There's other options outside of drinking your piss. That's all I was trying to say. That's what the chat was trying to say. And clearly, <laughs> other people felt otherwise. But we catch you in the next one. Love you. Peace out. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me